I was so connected to him, I felt his body shift. Pastor, help me out. Because sometimes you don't hear God. But when you're connected to him, when he moves, you move just like that. And the reason why we can't move like that is because we're not joined to him at the hip. Because we want to see what he's doing and not trust what he's already done. I'm going to say it again. We want to see what he's doing because we don't already trust what's already done. Because God has already made it. He's already done it. He's already worked it out. And because he's already worked it out, he needs you to stop trying to figure it out. All he wants you to do is get connected to him. Hear his voice, man of God. His voice, your connectivity, will take you into your great. You don't see what he sees. Eyes have not. Ears have not. But we forget to put, neither can you fathom. So what God has for you, you can't even begin to think about it. Y'all missed your shout. Because y'all thinking more members, he thinking bigger edifice. I'm going to talk to overcomers because y'all over there acting stuck up. Y'all thinking more members. He's thinking bigger edifice. He's thinking about something that's so big that the people going to wonder, where did it come from? And all y'all going to say is, is he trusted. He kept his eyes closed and he walked and he walked and he walked and he walked and he stepped and he walked. Why? Because he knew it was greater. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, hallelujah. Y'all don't, don't, don't get what just happened. Y'all don't, don't know what just happened. Y'all don't know what just happened. Y'all thought it was a preach engagement. Y'all didn't realize it was a celebration. <laughs> a celebration of what's getting ready to happen. But what God's already done. But what he's just going to manifest to you. But what he's already did. So when you celebrate, you don't celebrate sitting down. You celebrate standing up. You celebrate waving your hands. You celebrate just looking. Let's, 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 let's. When I watched the game last night, when they tackled Goliath and they got the grave, see, y'all jokers, y'all church folk, y'all sit there and look cute. Y'all sit there and look cute. I think they're cute. I think they're cute as they come. I do. And if I don't, my mom thinks I'm handsome. Um, but what they didn't do was care about what everybody else said. Because here's the thing. It's a $250,000 fine now for everybody running to the field. So they said, you know what? We don't care about the fine. We've been open since the pandemic started. Just to let you know. Because I told them I didn't care about the fine. And so because I didn't care about the fine, because I knew greater. So because of that, they all ran and stormed the field. Because they knew something big had just taken place. And I just told you something big was going to happen. And everybody that's sitting there, God bless you, this ain't for you. But for those of you who know that you know that you know, God is about to deliver something greater to your head. You just stand on your feet and give him glory. They, when they win in college football, they do something crazy to me. They do something crazy to me. They, uh, do something when they know they've won. When they know that they've done won the game and they know the victory is theirs, they pour water on them. They pour water on them because they know this is bigger. This is bigger. This is bigger. This is bigger. This is greater.
greater. This isn't the mundane. This is the shifting moment where God shows himself. But I told y'all earlier, I'm just speaking for me. God bless you. Everybody point their right hand up at the pulpit. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your man servant even now, God. God, we thank you for your word that you deposit in his spirit, God. God, we pray that you replenish him now, God. In the name of Jesus, bless him for being faithful to your word, God. Bless him for being faithful, God, in the name of Jesus. He did just what you asked him to do, God. God, we pray that you restore in him now, God, what was poured out. In Jesus' name, let everybody say amen. Come on, give this man of God a great big hand of praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Slay the giant. Come on, hallelujah. Let your praises ring. Let your praises ring. Let your praises ring. Come on, hallelujah. Somebody give it up. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, don't stop because my voice went down. Come on, you know what God has done for you. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Yes, Lord. He's worthy. Come on. Stand to your feet. Everybody, stand to your feet. Raise your hands to glory. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Hallelujah. Begin to worship him. Because he's worthy. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Because he's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So I worship. Come on. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So I worship. Come on, y'all. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So I worship. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So I worship. How many worshipers I got? He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So I worship. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy of the praise. Worthy of the praise. Worthy of the praise. Worthy of the praise. So I worship. Hallelujah. Come on. Tell him something good. You got something great in front of you that you need for God to do. And I come to tell you, you got to walk with the faith of God. You got to walk like you want to slay that giant. You got to walk like the head of the giant is already off in your hands. And begin to give God praise in advance. Hallelujah. Let us hear the praise and the worship of the people. Come on, Zion, let us hear your worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worthy of the praise, worthy of the praise, worthy of the praise. So I worship. So I worship. Come on.
Come on and worship him. Worship Come on him. and worship him. Worship him. And worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on and worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on. Worship him. 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 Oh, worship him. Oh, worship him. Come on, tell him something good. God is able to do. Hallelujah. Just what Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, cross over. He kept us three years. He kept us three years together working. He kept us three years together worshiping. I don't know if you know the number three is divine completeness. Hallelujah. Divine completeness. He said, I will finish the work I started. I will do what I said I will do. All you got to do is worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, you just heard what the man of God said. This is a moment now where you walk up and you give God, your, give, give the man of God your hand, but you give God your heart. The doors of the church are open. You need to come right now. Tomorrow isn't promised. We've learned in the last two years that tomorrow isn't promised. Truth be told, the next hour isn't promised. I had the unfortunate feat the last couple of weeks. A kid on my football team, his little sister walked over to the fence and they introduced her and said, hey, this is Coach Ty. She waved her hand, smiling and bubbly. This was a Tuesday. When I talked to them the next week, she was no longer with us. Eight years old. She had an asthma attack. Something as small as an asthma attack. She went into a coma and she never came out. How many of you know when you walk out of here, a bus can hit you? Somebody, a straight bullet can catch you. I don't know how bad it is in New York, but y'all from Baltimore already know. Here's the crazy part. Some of you got sicknesses in your body that you don't even know that's there. So God is saying, I need you to come to me now. Because when you walk out of here, I'm not going to promise you anything more than what you've already got. So this is your moment. This is your time. Hallelujah. But I'm going to do something. If you don't mind, Pastor. Anybody that stands in need of prayer. You know that there's greatness on your life. You just don't know how you're going to get it. You stand to your feet. That's fine. I don't mind it being a house party. Because there ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Everybody raise your hands. Hallelujah. Give his brother a hand clap as he comes. And he's able to do it. Hallelujah. Exceed and abundantly of what you can ask or what you think. Say he's able. I don't work in fear, sir. COVID don't scare me. Raise your hand. He's able. Yes, he's able. Father God, I don't know what your man servant came in the need of, dear God. But I just ask you right now just to touch him, God. 
Touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Father God. Because you know every infirmity that's, that's keeping him right now, dear God. You know everything that's keeping him in bondage right now. We denounce it right now, dear God. We cover him right now with the blood of Jesus, dear God. We know that Jesus the Christ make every demon tremble. So we just yell, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And everything that's not like you has to detach from his life right now, God. There is greater that's connected to him, God. So right now we just actually let him walk in it, God. Let him be what you called him to be, God. You, he knows what he sees, dear God. But the enemy keeps telling him that he can't. He keeps telling him that his past is too bad. But dear God, last time I checked, you wiped out all past. You wiped it out and you made us anew. And if he's willing to walk in the newness of you, God, his life can be made over. So we thank you for making him over right now, God. Lift him up, God. Strengthen him, God. Show him the way, God. And let him not be weary and well doing understanding that his well doing will open the doors even when he gets slapped he'll know it's just to look up to you because you are the one that holds his hand when all things go wrong it's in Jesus name we pray amen God said, let go. Let go and let me. You can't do it. You're not powerful enough to handle it. He said, but if you release it into my hands, I can make it whole for you. But you have to be willing to let it go. You can never get anything fixed as if it's still in your hands. So God said, I'm willing to fix it, my child. You just have to release it unto me. And once you release it unto me, I'm not giving it to you like it was. I'm not even giving it back to you. I'm going to replace it with something better. So when you release it to him, he said, yes, I have the power to fix it. But I'm just going to make it better. So make it better, God. Cover him, Lord. Release him, God. In Jesus' name, amen. He's able. Everybody raise your hands. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you right now, God, to touch these, your people, God. Give them the strength and the courage to walk into the great. Let them understand that there will be days where it looks grim. There will be days when it looks tough. There will be days when they don't feel like doing it. But when they look to the hills from which cometh their help, they understand that the greater comes from looking up. And as long as they look up, they'll always have the power to get up. Encourage them right now, God. Gird them up right now, Lord. Give them what they stand in the need of right now. You know each and every want and request because you're that good of a God. Bless them right now, God. Let their greater come as they connect to you. David didn't go into the fight with nothing, but he went and equipped with what you gave him. So allow them to walk towards their giants, knowing that they will slay them because of what you gave them. And know that's more than enough. To not just be a servant, but to be a king or a queen. And to carry on the lineage of the greatest that ever did it. We thank you now because we know it's coming. So as we walk to it, walk with us as you go before us. And you bless son Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. What a message we received today. This pastor gave us the message. When I think about, he came up from Baltimore. And he came up on short notice. He took his assignment from God and he did it well. And if, I have, if my remarks was titled, I was, remarks would be titled, Great Expectations. 
You know, I go down to the harbor in Baltimore, and I go down to the Capitol Grill with great expectations of getting good crab cakes. Well, not only do Baltimore make great crab cakes, they produce a great pasta. They came up and delivered us a great message, and we thank you. That's why being deeply rooted in God and taking your calling seriously is to come and put your best foot forward and do the best you can. And we thank this pastor for coming up. Not only do we thank the pastor, we thank all the ones that accompanied him up to this church today. I believe his wife, Lady Nance, his mother. It takes a lot to get up early in the morning on a Sunday morning and be on the road by 6 o'clock to come up and visit a church that you've never been to before, know nothing about, but you come. That's what serving God is all about. That's what we have to do. We can't say, I cannot do it. We got to say, I can because I have faith, and faith will take me everywhere. Amen. And there's a saying, without faith, where would I be? Amen. And we have seen what faith will do for us in the last 20 months with this pandemic. But everyone has been up here a long time. I don't want to take anything away from the pastor and his people, but it's a long day. We're going to start, go with the collection, but we thank you. We thank you wholeheartedly. And when I came up, I didn't follow protocol. First, I gave honor to God. You always got to give honor to God. Then I give honor to my pastor. And I give honor to my people, of course, over, and our visitors. And also, we thank the founder of this great church, Reverend Garland, and you. And thank God. May God continue to bless us all and keep us on the straight and narrow that where God lead us, we shall follow. Okay, now it'll be orphan time, trustees. I know it took a lot to keep my pastor in his seat from making any remarks. We thank him for being obedient also. For those that wonder, we do have electronic giving, which is Zell. Our information is crossover BC358 at yahoo.com. Crossover BC358 at yahoo.com. Our cash app information is dollar sign crossover BC358. Cash app is dollar sign crossover BC358. We want to thank all of our online, online participants on today. We pray that you allow God to use you to bless. If you if you're giving to bless the preacher, speaker on the on this evening, you can put in the memo and your giving for the preacher, Pastor Tyrone Nance. Amen. Um, Tithers, y'all know what we do. We also can give electronically. If you're here, you want to give electronically, that's fine. But if you want to give it in person, we have the box up here. And we have our Sister Weber standing for our preacher. Amen? Amen. We want, we want, we want everyone to stand up on this side. Everybody on this side, so we're going to face the wall here. And you can come around this way. Everybody on this side, face the wall, and come around the back side so we make one, one continuing circle. Amen? Amen? Somebody else? Sister Weber is standing for the preacher plate. Let's make sure we bless the church, the, the, the preacher, the speaker of, the, of this morning. Amen? Hallelujah. Is anybody...
Sister Ellison is going to hold the plate for Pastor Campbell. So to all the auxiliaries, please make sure you put your assessment in that plate. Thank you. Okay. I got to get myself together because I've got some place to go. And I'm praying when I get there, I see everyone and all. I wanna go. I wanna go. I wanna go. I wanna go. Do you wanna go? Cause I got some place to go. And I'm praying when I get, I see everyone I know. I want to go, said I want to go. Do you want to go? Said I want to go. But do you want to go? Oh. Can you picture a place where there's a smile on every face? And all the the Deacon Boys from Crossroads Baptist Church is turning over 300 hours. Walking down the street that's golden and I'm singing perfect weather. Everybody's the deaconess board from Crossover Baptist Church is turning over three hundred dollars. Oh, 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 I gotta get myself together. The missionary board is turning over three hundred dollars. The trustee board is turning over three hundred and fifty dollars. Everyone I know, I wanna go. You wanna go? Do you want to go? Father God, it's once again we come before thee to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank for everything that has been said and done. Father God, we thank you for the offering. We thank you for the one that gave, the one that could not give, that able to give next time, Father God. And then, Father God, we ask you to increase it in your name, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank everyone for their joyful giving and all of the auxiliaries living up to their meeting their expectations and their obligations. Amen. What a great day we have. Thank God. Amen. Before I turn it back over to the pulpit, I don't know whether Lady Nance would like to say anything. <laughs> 